Welcome back to America Weekend. I'm Ed Kalegi. I'm Christina Stoffa. Our next guest is extremely talented, especially when she's not herself. <laughs> she is an actress, a writer, a singer, and a voiceover artist. It is great to say hello to Barbara Heller. Barb, welcome to the show. Oh, thanks. What a warm welcome. Uh, a little psychologically deranging. But, well, uh, but yes. <laughs> that's what we do. Now, Impressionists, <laughs> this is quite an art. And we were even having a conversation before we went on the air today. You don't see or hear many Impressionists anymore. It is a very difficult thing to perfect. So when I saw your mm. stuff on YouTube, I was incredibly impressed. How did you get your start oh. doing this? Um, okay, so I, I was having trouble remembering the very first imitation that I did, uh, but there is an old family video, uh, and when I say video, I mean like on film, you know, from, from probably the, the early 80s. I'm like a camcorder. Um, yeah, my mom actually would, would whip us out of bed at midnight just yeah. to watch The Honeymooners and The Goldbergs, I think was the name of the show. Yes. Like, you know, people ask me all the time, why are you, what is it, like, why do you have this bug to like keep, you know, writing and doing funny things? things and it's my mom's fault you know some some parents are like read the bible you know and or, or you know read these novels my mom was like get out of bed the honeymoon is on <laughs> so like at midnight my sister and i literally would be dragged out of bed on pbs because she was so afraid that like maybe it wouldn't be on or your show of shows so that was my background like wow. that that was my you know my torah my bible my whatever you you know people are raised with uh my buddha you know and it was like comedy or these these are great artists. I want you to watch them. And so from a little a little kid, I would watch Carol Burnett and, your, you know, since these are on your show of shows, the reruns, um, and just be like so enamored with them. And uh, when I was four years old, um, I don't think it was a very good impression. I'll have to dig it up. But I, I hear, I see myself uh, saying, this is John Davidson on the TV show, and I'm, like, <laughs> pretending I'm John Davidson. And wow. I don't even know if I watched more than one episode because, like, <laughs> I guess it was on or a rerun or whatever. But that was the first impression that is on tape of me doing it. I was four years old. And I, the fact that I have to say this is John Davidson is a pretty good indication it probably was very good. And look but, at um, But it's amazing because look at how you, you, you didn't even go, you know, for the easy one. You went to do a guy when you were four years right, old. Right, right, right. You, you went know, right into the hard stuff. Oh my, you're watching like some like old rerun of That's Incredible and all of a sudden for some reason John Davidson just comes out and kind of like just gets you where it matters most and <laughs> and, and you do yeah. his voice. Wow. Yeah, well, I mean, I was trying. I was four. But yeah. yeah, I was doing it and with the long blonde hair and like, you know, I don't know what I was thinking. Growing up, as you got a little bit older, maybe in your teen years or whatever, did you mm. did you see that you're yourself finding influences in, oh, you know, other yeah. actors and yeah. actresses? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I had pictures on my wall of Dana Carvey, Helen Hunt, Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston. I mean, these are these. I didn't have wallpaper. I had them. I would like cut them out of like people. And my sister's a songwriter. She's actually very talented and very successful in that world. But she she would walk out of the movies singing the songs verbatim like she would. I, we'd hear a song once and she would just like from Aladdin and she knew every word. And I would come out imitating Aladdin, you know, like, one well, jump ahead of the red line. Like, I would just <laughs> take on the character, you know, and I actually know, you know, it's weird because as you live in Hollywood, you, like, meet some of these people in person. I'm like, oh, Brad Kane, I, I, when I was little, I, like, imitated you. Yeah, like, I could take on their, their voice. I could take on the way that they walked. And sometimes my mom would call me, you know, when I was in college and, you know, I was far away from home. And she'd say, Barbara, I mm -hmm. watched while you, I watched while you were sleeping tonight, it's you. It's you. you know, I love she your was, impression like, of like, your mom. Like freaked out, you know, because yeah. I could do her or whatever. But yeah, I think my biggest influences, getting back to the question, um, were like Dana Carvey and um, and Nora Dunn, um, and, you know, the Sweeney sister, Jan Hooks, like. I grew up when Saturday Night Live was rocking. Time now to be joined by some of the most talented women in oh, the world. Oh, here we go. All right, so here okay. we go. Now, you mentioned already, so let us lead into the one and only Sandra Bullock. Somebody? Oh, my gosh. 
Oh God, he smells so good. Okay, sir, uh, there's a there's a train coming and uh, it's an express. Sir, uh, man. <laughs> I love the breathlessness of the whole thing. Wow. <laughs> While you were sleeping, yeah. I felt like I was just popping in the old DVD and watching it. All right, here we go. How about Mini Driver? If you don't love me, then I will I will walk out this door and I won't call you. And I want I want you to say that you don't love me. <laughs> I don't want to call you, but I don't want to take back. I just want you to come to California with me. Well. <laughs> oh, poor Minnie. Wow. How about Fran Drescher? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Sheffield, that's that's so funny. Oh, Mr. Sheffield. You know, I tell women all the time, don't settle. You know what I mean? I just. I um I love to tell people what what are you doing? what are you talking about <laughs> you know oh, you friend. have to just put yourself out there and you go for it and that's how I met my husband he looks very different from me he's Indian but he's a wonderful wonderful man and I'm very blessed <laughs> my goodness uh, how about Melissa <laughs> McCarthy okay all right we're gonna go out there and we're gonna. We're going to shake our asses like the rest of the foxes. <laughs> you smell that? Can you feel the, can you feel the heat of my uh, my undercarriage? Yeah. Powerful. You know, you know what it is? It's Spanx. I'm wearing Spanx. Yeah? You can feel that? Why don't you, why don't you take a little closer look? Don't be, a, don't be shy. Don't be. Get in there. Come on. It's okay. Wow. It's okay. That's closer than I ever wanted to get to Melissa McCarthy my entire <laughs> life. How, how about Kate so Winslet? Kate Winslet. All right. So for Kate, we have both the normal voice, but then we also have the American voice. Yes. The future belongs to those who know where they belong. You see, it's funny. To, it's, it's so weird. There's so many British actresses that do American so right. well. But then there's, like, that weird force, like, my ear, because, like, I'm really attuned to pitches. You and, can hear them wrapping their, their tongues pitches. around the yeah. consonants, yes, and, and right. in a very it's, weird it's, way. It's, all right, now yeah. let's, let's hit a couple of singers. Uh, to, okay. let's, all right, how about the one that I've had more than enough of, the one and only Adina Menzel? Let it go, let it go, I'm one with the earth and sky. Glasses are breaking in her house. Her neighbors just called the police. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and all of a sudden, every burglar alarm in the neighborhood just went off. My goodness. All right. You know what? We're pressed for time. We're going to do one more. Let's do Britney okay. Spears. Oh, baby, baby. Very nice. <laughs> very good. Britney yeah. Spears in the house. Very good. Very, very good. All right, Barbara, tell us, what do you have coming up? What else are you doing right now? Um, well, I'm auditioning for a television show that might include some of this stuff. I can't Ooh. say which one, okay. but uh, next week. So hopefully we'll be able to promote that along with yes. this uh, interview um, okay. coming up shortly. I just wrote a movie, and I'm pitching it around uh, based on Finding Bar, which is a stage musical that I did here in L.A. and on tour for a while. Excuse me. And uh, it's actually a uh, dramedy musical. Mm -hmm. So a little bit like in the vein of Once um, but uh, or Begin Again, that kind of thing. Um, and it's based on my life, but a lot shorter because it's a movie. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And what else? I do improv around town. I... Um, I, what else? I just put in auditioning all the time. And uh, I'm going to be, well, I don't actually know if I can say that, but, you know, I, I do a lot of uh, voices for 
celebrities. So I'm, I'm in a lot of movies that are coming out. But so there's a lot <laughs> of stuff in the hopper. Yes. Well, you know yeah, what you I'm can... not always allowed to say what I do. Oh, no, I understand. Double for them. Yeah. No, we don't want to yeah. be the interview that destroyed the career. No, well, you can check out Barbara's <laughs> website at barbheller.com. Also, check her out on YouTube. She is a screen. Barbara Heller, thank you so much oh. for joining us here in America Weekend. Thank you so much. It was such a blast. You have such a great voice yourself. That's well, thank so you. He sure you. does. See, it's a, see, that's how I ended up on the radio, I guess. There you go. <laughs> Stay with us. More to come. I'm Ed Kalengi. I'm Christina Stoppa. And this is America Weekend from the Envision Radio Network. Oh, America.